two. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, we didn't do sound checks, did we? Nope. That's nope. okay. Let us, it... let us know who's quiet, who's loud, who's hot, who's not. I bet it's fine. I bet it's fine. Yeah. What's up, guys? Hey. Hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome hey. back to Game of Thrones, season hey. seven. We did it. We, we did, did it. it. We watched the Game of Thrones. Uh, <laughs> all, all of the whole game. We did it. <laughs> what I was the score at the end? <laughs> I don't feel like I'm awake right now. Oh, <laughs> this dead. feels like I'm I'm dreaming. And not because I'm like, oh, it's like I'm dreaming. Game of Thrones is back. No, I'm so <laughs> fucking tired. I was at D23 all weekend. This doesn't feel real right now. Anyway, mm. <laughs> I'm ready to an an analyze this uh, episode. Let's, let's yeah. analyze this episode. Everyone I'll watch it? Analyze. Hope you. <laughs> I hope you're that not. Was a couple seasons ago. Oh. 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 Hope you guys watched it if you're here. Uh, yeah. Hope you're not. Here. Otherwise, <laughs> don't don't come to us because HBO Go is down. Go watch the episode and then come here. Yeah. 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 But welcome to hey. our discussion. Hey, we've been here. We're here. Let's get into it. Okay. Yeah. How about that cold open? Uh, uh that was a cool. Cold absolutely. Open. Yeah, that was absolutely fantastic. That was good. Yeah. We we actually had to restart the episode because like. As soon as it started, I realized it was on a sink, and so we had to begin it again. And in that moment, while we were scrambling to start it again, we all were like, "It's Arya! It's Arya! It's Arya!" Like we all just immediately knew. Yeah, Walder something Frey was weird. Basically, uh, slated for us with his. Yeah, his not <laughs> not Walder gave us a really great <laughs> sink point. <laughs> not yeah. Walder. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> smile so like that much. Like it just, he's you not know. so courteous. Mm -mm. He's not that polite. No. He... And then we had like recap of why he sucks in case anyone forgot. <laughs> like like Arya's motivations for killing him in case anyone didn't. Oh, remember. just the recital of like uh -huh. you guys uh, killed guests and you guys killed a pregnant lady mm -hmm. and you guys uh... such brave men. Is that that's your Is that your brother? Sure. Needs to be older. No, crinkle it a little. Yeah. Bit. Such, such brave men. Brave men. Oh, I thought else was closer. Such if you if you could combine those, we <laughs> yeah. got it. Yeah, add yeah. them up, and the sum of that is uh, that's really pretty good, Walder. Yeah. Um, but so, what? Go go ahead. I would just like to give a disclaimer that I'm gonna be a little rusty. I don't know about the it's rest of you guys. It's been a long time. I haven't had the time to rewatch things. Uh, if I had even a iota of time, I would have rewatched at least our What's on the Box series for some great analysis yeah. of the entire uh, season six. But I, I didn't even have the time to do that. So I'm, I was going into this cold. It's Pretty, hard for yeah. Me, yeah, it's hard for me to critically analyze this episode because mostly I was just like, oh, Game of Thrones is back on. This is pretty fucking cool. Although I will say that last year during the premiere, I remember being a little disappointed. The three of us talked about it in What's on the Box. And this year I did not have that disappointment. That's mm. true. Last season was kind of slow out of the gate and this season was not yeah and we weren't waiting around for a major event to happen that we all knew would happen yeah for oh, it to, that's true. To, to end at the second episode we were just sort of like come on just do it yeah that, i had that really helped that we didn't have that we we didn't have that kind of anticipation i mean we knew that that danny would get to dragonstone the episode was titled dragonstone yeah, yeah. So we had that, but like there was never a question of like, well, maybe they're gonna not have her at Dragon. Like, it was gonna end with Danny arriving, and that's totally fine. Like, it 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 wasn't the same as John coming back. Like, which they could have te they they could have held that for like six whole, episodes. Yeah. Or you know, like <laughs> yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. without that kind of expectation, I think I was more willing to be hyped and it, and that cold open was great cold open yeah it was so good i really liked Arya this episode she was great i was wondering if she was going to kill those lannisters by the campfire ed shireen because shireen 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 you're old cool yeah up. it's ed oh, you don't i don't okay hey ed shireen here, i'm gonna let you peek behind the curtain i don't care about ed shireen i i said when we watched if if 
other people we were watching with hadn't been like, oh, this is Ed Sheeran, I wouldn't have it's known who that was. It's because you both don't pay attention to no, the world. I no, know. I recognize like, James, he's so SNL. famous. I recognize him Both of you, he's he super SNL. famous. He, yeah, but he's that kind of famous that like doesn't matter. I don't I know, care. But yeah, who's going to know Ed? Oh my God. Is it Sheeran? Sheeran. At, at this years. guy, James Gressel. You guys Twitter. sound Adam, so all your Ed Sheeran. Old. Don't at me. I don't give a shit. Just about Ed Sheeran. His, uh, connection yeah. with the youth it was a little I mean, hokey when you have hokey. a famous singer being like, oh, it's a new song. You know, like the employee said, like, I wrote it, me, Ed Sheeran. I really wanted her to actually kill them. I want to see. She, no. was she oh, may. No. No, but listen, we Aria, haven't left I, them. Okay, here. I think too many people like Aria. Okay. And I want to bring it down a notch. Wow. You, you, want her, you want to see, you want her dark passenger to come out. Yeah, I want her to be a troubled person who we feel Dirty, rude, and well, that's the thing. We got two seasons, basically, of her on standby, where Ugh. her character journey didn't matter at the House of Black and White, except that she wants to be her again and not no one. But that could have been done so quickly. Sorry, I'm like melting. No, uh, no. I no, I feel like the whole point of that scene is that she doesn't just up and kill them because we see her at the beginning, like basically, dr- like take out an entire house. She doesn't know any of the phrase sitting there she never talked to them like Mm -hmm. and you know going into the scene with the Lannisters like what does she think about Lannisters they're all bad and the first thing she does is eye up their sword the first yeah so she's like oh I could just take out some Lannisters but then she she sits with them and I think that's I I don't think it's that she sits with them and that she has a conversation about how the guy's glad that he's he has a daughter I think that that's a smaller part of the puzzle the bigger equation for me, I think, is the fact that she ate their food. The second that she ate that piece of rabbit, it was guessed right. She's not. She cannot kill them, or she is too much that, of a hypocrite. Because the the, yeah. the 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 dude, the soldier who like handed her the rabbit, is like guess seat first, and then she eats, and she's like, okay, I can't kill them. She still has some kind of moral code that she's sticking yeah, to. Yeah, and especially with and we've talked we talked about it on what's on the box. We talked about it on book club, uh, and and with with the connection to the earlier scene with the phrase, it's all about guest right. It's all about the betrayal of the phrase who killed the Starks under their uh, alleged protection while they were protected by this guest right, the bread and salt. Um, so I think that's the bigger issue than, than humanizing them. However, the humanizing them is for like show watchers, basically. Well, I don't no, know. I, I, I still think that like hearing that, you know, they have children that they have like hopes and dreams. I th- I think that was something that could be getting to her, reaching know. her. But yeah, the the whole. I mean, I agree with your point, but I I think they made those soldiers so like so sweet, like over the top nice. Like art. What are the guys? Artisan winemakers <laughs> and like just yeah. super sweet babies. Very For a baby reason, face. because a big complaint that people have about Arya, and I think it's it's. Or not complaint, but a big character flaw of Arya's, rather, I phrase that badly, is that she literally sees, and I realize like how cheesy this sounds, but she sees everything in black and white. There's good, bad. Like She's really mm. bad with gray areas, and I think that that's along with her refusing... Uh, the food at first and like that impl- that implication of gastroid I think it's important that she sits with these super nice <laughs> super cute Lannister soldiers because I think it challenges her preconceived notions of like Lannisters are bad guys I see all that but for me I want Arya to be the character that's too far gone oh I want she may get there because she is she's traveled so far down that path she's killed so many uh, I don't know has she killed so many people in the show? She hasn't really killed anybody that you could say is an innocent, except for the kid, the first person she the killed. The first person no, she uh, the, What, the stable boy? Because he was like, oh, I'm going to show you to the queen. Yeah, so, like, but like, but there. he's Ooh, not okay. a fray. Like, no. Yeah, but like, you know, how she... I, he's that, not Marin Trant. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that first one was an accident, but she has killed in cold blood. But not... She's witnessed the hound kill people because he could, because... He wanted their stuff, but she hasn't gone that far yet. I guess, Just yeah, killing she, needlessly. She, the recap did show where she oh, was very. James, dis- will you hit your mic a little bit? My mic. Is it his mic or his mic? Yeah, which James? Which Emily. James? 
I think it's it's you. Too loud or too quiet? Too quiet. Too quiet. Yeah, Caitlin, will you go up a little bit on, on which four? mic? She's is it? four. He's four. I'm four. Yeah. Hold on. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm four. You are number so four. Me no, on one? the on the knob, not the slider. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Okay. Is this better now? Yeah, that's gonna be better. You might okay. even be hotter than the rest of us now. Ooh. Well, it is a little warm here. <laughs> Everybody's digging Joel's beard. They oh oh obviously. thanks everyone. Look at that fucking beard, yeah. man. <laughs> Thing is crazy. Yeah. Anyway, I understand your points. I guess I just worry about the show uh, and or the series. I don't know. Taking the characters that are fan favorites and oh, making them, them heroes making and making them, them heroes good. because Tyrion's pretty whitewashed uh, compared to book Tyrion. Even Cersei's a little whitewashed compared to book Cersei. But well, that's I, like... It's well, pretty... they can't get into her head and like... <laughs> yeah, I know, but like... Explore those depths. <laughs> Yeah, I'm wondering, I it occurred to me now that I've read not all the way through the books, but I'm like halfway through Feast now that the show, especially in, I mean, we'll get to Cersei, but she's painted here more to me as a survivor. Nice pun. Painted. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> then just a ruthless evil person. And I'm wondering whether well, that's going to tip this season. Do you think Cersei's painted as a survivor? I well, think she's painting herself, and I think Jamie believes it, and that's enough for me right now. I don't think she's narrative. insane. Let's talk okay. to our, our resident Cersei expert. Yeah, let's hear from Cersei. <laughs> how did you feel about Cersei's scenes? Because how many did she have? Not that many. It's just the couple. Was it just the... Just the couple. Yeah, just the few. Was it just the two back-to-back? Painted floor, I guess you could call yeah, it? And, and, uh, then and then you're on? Showing, showing up. In the throne room, yeah. Okay. I wish like I had longer to think about this before we did this. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah. turned off the TV hard. and jumped on the yeah, stream. Yeah, like I feel like I'd have something a lot more interesting to say if I had some time to let it stew. Um, yeah, we were talking about this, like some kind of clunky, weird stuff going With on. We haven't talked about Tom and like what? <laughs> yeah, like how have yeah. you not had that? How I much mean, time I guess, has passed? I guess today's the day. Um, I think what they were trying to say with that is that... She's been, like, she's, avoiding she's, it. Yeah, she's, like, a retreated into herself where she used to be open with Jamie, and it's trying, to, it's trying to kind of hint at what their relationship is. And it's moderately successful at best. And I think that that's... You know, that's our that's been our biggest criticism of the show since it passed the books, is that it's not spectacular on the page and in terms of dialogue and and the way that's the decisions of some of the characters and, and and things like that i was ready to be really pissed with the direction of this episode because it was jeremy Podeswa and he did on bad and bad and broken but i think that there were some pretty good images in this show so i yeah. can't really hate on him too much but i do think that the seriously dialogue was clunky but i think too part of it is to help demonstrate that now that she's like lost her kids, I think even losing the third kid, she's just so numb to it because she just doesn't have anything to lose anymore. Mm. And I think it's to kind of whether it was good or not or well done or not, it's to emphasize that she literally has nothing to lose. And that's like the scariest version of Cersei you could possibly have. It's like one with no attachments to anyone. Like I think at this point she would even throw Jamie under the bus. She doesn't give a fuck. Well, there's dream. a lot of allusions to it with Euron being like, Oh, you should try killing a brother. It feels great. Yeah. That's my Euron voice. It's not well, great. Well, that was a double entendre. I mean, that had that was uh yeah, and two hands, which was spectacular. Oh yeah, and yeah. his yeah. two hands comment. Line. <laughs> he doesn't oh. give a fuck. He has ships. What'd you guys think of Euron? This is the most Euron we've gotten. Oh my yeah. god, Euron. Yeah. Are we, are we this back is, on board, Euron? This is better than last season, I mean, Euron, for sure. Euron's a lot of fun. What the fuck was his outfit? <laughs> <laughs> I can't... I literally don't know if I love it or think it's the most <laughs> insane costuming choice. Because, yeah, Caitlin pointed out that he looks exactly like um, Shakespeare and Shakespeare in Love, and it's li it, it is... They got that out of like a warehouse in Burbank and like put and they were like, oh no, we need Diet to just rent this for yeah. Um I I thought Sting, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he's like sexy Doom as fuck. Sting? Yeah, just like yeah, like that era like like mid nineties, 
kind of yeah like the fringe and the open everyone dressed like that yeah, yeah. Oh. he can definitely I, can I take this off for the rest, r- rest yeah of the i noticed yeah. he has the front of his chin pretty bare yeah, yeah. He, yeah. yeah. he's got yeah. the so, like so should, I just, should i just take this down oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah i've um, had a grand duke before which is similar to that so i could give you some pretty tips close. it's pretty close I think I can um figure it out. i <laughs> Really, we're not gonna see very much of it at all, I don't think. But I really like Cersei and Euron together. I like that they're both wearing black, Wait. and I like that Jamie wasn't in that scene to just kind of like maybe emphasize a connection, like not roman, not romantically, but just they're both just such assholes, and I kind of want them almost in a fanfic way to be like, wow, I've never met someone this <laughs> shitty before and they just fall in love. Wait, it, won't, it won't happen. It'd, it'd be would, dumb if it did. No, but I like, would love to see their team up at its maximum potential with Jamie being sent away for some reason. Because yeah. like he, I'm wondering what they're going to do with him. He's not as upset over the murder of innocence, which must have happened with the Sept, not just like Sparrows and Tyrells and other people, but actual innocence so i'm wondering when that fuse is going to go off what's going to set that in motion now when you say you don't think you're going to see much of them why not because euron is literally he literally just left to go i'm assuming give her Tyrion. get that horn yeah i, I thought it was the horn. oh yeah we're horn. not getting the horn this book shit go. i i don't think it's going to be Tyrion. i think Tyrion is too it's too big a get. necessary for the end game i think the Best case, and what I hope happens because I, I agree, Chelsea. I want to. Well, see I think that's what he's setting out to do. Oh, sure, but what I don't I, know if it'll. What I want to see is a Euron Cersei tete a tete. I want a scene with know, the me two too. of them. I want them teamed up. Oh, I for want sure. them to just yeah. both realize they're both such sociopaths. <laughs> just kiss, and then just kiss. Uh, but I, I, I think I think he's gonna I think he's gonna get a, a sand snake or some a minor prize. Oh, Gaushiel, what the fuck is Cersei gonna be like, doing? Someone cool else, she, someone else she can torture. I, Cersei is evidently, if we're going back to wins a winner and Septa Unella, <laughs> she'll be into that. She'll someone like, and she made mention of the sand snakes. We have a question from the class. Oh, that would be a oh great Oh my god, I don't want to see Olenna tortured. No, but like I don't know. Well. Cersei might be into that. Cersei would be super pumped. Yeah, but I mean, She'd Cersei's be been anyone. looking for Tyrion. Well, sure. Uh, she got a big shout out. Are we allowed, are we allowed to discuss the, the next on stuff, the preview stuff? Here? Sure, I guess. Okay, uh, warning audience that we're going to discuss the next on stuff. Why? Are, what? Why? Are Why? Why now? Because I have a question. Okay. Was okay. Elena in the next on scene? Yes. In the painted yes. table room. Yes. Okay. Well, then she's gonna get pretty. She's gonna be pretty hard to get. That's true. Yeah. 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 She's not gonna put herself on the forefront of anything. <laughs> <laughs> she's like um, Tywin in that way. Yeah. I also really liked uh, in that scene just a little detail that I noticed. Uh, Euron saying something about like. Uh, it was it was during the um, Greyjoy Rebellion, and and he's talking about Jamie, and he's like, it was so beautiful, just the way that you like took down all those men, and Jamie's like, those were your own kin, and he was like, yeah, it was awesome, blah, blah. <laughs> but like, he's and, like, it and, made it easier for me. <laughs> yeah, it made it, yeah, and 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 uh, I think Jamie is disgusted at the idea of Euron just so easily wanting to bring down his own kin. Mm. Dude, Jamie did that, like. Show Jamie. That's did one that. sh- right, exactly. That's a big oh, yeah. change to Jamie that a lot of people um complained about and is like a super controversial change. Uh in season two, two? a long ass time oh, ago. Right, Jamie right, right. kills his cousin to, to escape from from captivity. But he doesn't even get him away. I mean it's it's an attempt. Yeah. 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 But he's super cavalier about it and it's a big um yeah, it was super controversial. I don't necessarily love it. But I think it's interesting that it all it kind of comes up again. It came up again for me. It made me think of that. Yeah, moment. and that's fair. And I think that just reflects on how awful that inclusion was. Fuck that. I hate it so much that Jamie killed his cousin there. But, but also, could... Brienne has come into his life since then and has renewed his sense of honor. Sure. <laughs> Jamie's one of my favorite characters. Yeah. I mean, it could all, again, as as dumb as that change was, it's a nice indicator now of how much he's changed. Uh, in the show. Mm-hmm. Okay. So and I think speaking of, oh, I was just gonna say we're gonna. I'm just interested to see what line will be crossed that he'll really have a problem with that will get to his breaking point. 
uh, torturing an old woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or or like a, a sand snake or some another like I said a minor prize. Um, speaking what, of that'll make Jamie break. Yeah, who, I, don't I know. think Cersei doing something to Tyrion would make Jamie break. I don't think we're she get still it. believes that Tyrion killed Joffrey. That yeah, would, that re- yeah. Just flashed my you mind. You know what? Is, she like, had right, a pretty. Right. She had some pretty good points. Uh, when it's like, hey, Jamie, you freed our brother, and let's look at the list of things he's done since then. <laughs> uh, he killed our dad. Yeah. You freed him uh, after he killed our son, and also allegedly. And also now he's helping out our number one enemy who has dragons. And he knows a lot of our secrets and strategies of Westeros and is giving them to her. So, great. (laughs) (laughs) Well, when you put it that way. No, I saw her point when she put it that way, you know? And she did, or that conversation at the painted table helped them both realize they don't have shit. Painted floor. Painted floor, that's right. <laughs> it's it's a painted something. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they don't have any allies. I like that the show is grounded enough to, to make the point, yeah, the Reach was giving them all the food and yeah. the crops, things that they need, and they uh, don't have that. Just reemphasizing, Cersei's not smart. <laughs> I really love her, but she's real dumb. <laughs> she doesn't think. She doesn't think two steps ahead. She yeah. thinks like just she's impulsive. And she doesn't understand that just because she's queen and she's technically one, that that doesn't mean, yeah, what? <laughs> she doesn't have a real maester to keep her linked to the past and the future. Oh, oh the maesters. Oh, man, are we going to have to use that? Tra- I had such a good transition I had a great lined transition, up. too. Well, where your, where, where were, were you going to go? My transition was, speaking of dumb choices that a ruler makes, we go to the, the first court of the king in the north. So uh, my good. transition was going to be, speaking of people changing like Jamie, Sandor's really changed. Uh, that's true, too. Uh, what do we want to do? If you talk about Sansa, can I come? Uh, we don't have a, we m- a mic. mic. You can hover. Uh, <laughs> Um. Yeah, someone saying like <laughs> they can't hear you, so we have to remember to repeat stuff you're yeah. saying. Oh, who is talking in the background? It's Caitlin. It's, Caitlin. it's going postal. It's come wave. Oh, oh did you make it in? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Well, we yeah, did the small. There's a slight delay. It's gonna come in in a second. You. <laughs> there's like a scream <laughs> style. Um, all right, yes. let's just pick something. Pick okay. Something. Uh, speaking yeah. of. Uh, yeah, there you are. Speaking of Jon Snow, how about that Jon Snow? Yeah. Um, oh, Jon Snow. The court of the King of the North. What did you guys? Uh, what did you guys think? No. Oh, Caitlin didn't anti. like it Caitlin's because anti. John was not making a great move. He hasn't had to rule in a way that listen takes listen. in politics. All of us reacted negatively when John was like, "You can't take it away from the Umbers and the Karstarks." But then you know what? I was back on board when he was like, "You can't punish the son for the crime of the father." I was- I'm very torn. I also was on board when he said you can't, like, directly contradict me in front of everyone. Also that. Yeah, that yeah. was that, True. That's a bad, the best it. point that he made. Like, it's, like, Sansa is very valid in her opinion. However, to do so in front of everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Not awesome. It's not good because they, this is, like, the worst time for them to be displaying any weakness. You want to get your Sansa thoughts in? He's not talking to her. Oh, you gotta, Here, you got to be yeah, in the mic. You have to be like right here. You got to go to a microphone. Here. Mm-hmm. Hi. Hi. Um, so. Here's our I, Sansa. I don't know if you can hear me, but I care a lot about Sansa. Um, and I'm so mad because he's not talking to her. He's not listening to her. He's not asking for her opinion. Yeah. And she, honestly, she's the rightful heir to Winterfell. She's his heir. And he's just not fucking listening to her. And she knows more about court than he does. He's never, like, his father didn't teach him about court. He's ruling as a military commander. ruling like the Lord Commander in the Night's Watch, not like the Lord of Winterfell or the King of the North. And I'm real mad. I feel like he's doing a pretty damn good job, She makes a great point that he can't behave like Rob or Ned because that's what gets you dead. No, that's a great point. But I think that he he did a really good move getting the little baby Umbers and Karstarks to swear fealty to him. Yes. Yes. Well, the thing is, they should have had the conversation ahead because he should have asked her for counsel, and he didn't. He just was like, well, well, I'm going to do this, obviously. She should be the consigliere, for sure. It almost seemed like... She should be the queen of the north! Well, all right. (laughs) Uh, we might it get almost there. seemed like there was a continuation of like the last time we saw them. I think there's 
there's been some time. Has it? Has no, there? Well, no. But it, it, it looks looked like, the like same scene. minute moments later. Yeah, no, she's wearing a completely same. different dress and completely different hair. Is that true? That yeah. True. Oh, her yes. hair was different. Also, different Brienne's like, why the fuck is Littlefinger still around? Like, it's not just after the battle. She's like, what is he still doing? Because he brought the army of the Vale. Oh God. All right. What? The army of the Vale. That, that's like that's, sorry that's it's his, dance yes. no it's feast oh it is it's feast oh, well, so, well, be careful yeah. <laughs> but anyway we're so beyond that yeah I I think yes having the Karstarks and the Umbers pledge fealty from their ancestral street is good but I also think they're children and you need to get military heads in those yeah castles you should name loyal uh, mm-hmm. houses as like and castle make lovers. them yeah. like yeah. wards of but then oh, for sure. I don't know. But then that's later they insulting. probably get murdery. I don't know. Yeah, man. They you paid don't such attention those. to them. I wonder why. Like, that's are we the gonna see them slaughtered? Like, if you're thinking like like legit like medieval ruler, you would just have those kids killed. Hmm. And put someone <laughs> well, else. That was in there. Sansa's point. Yeah. Just mm. have no, but like but have like, them killed. She, I don't. Did she say that? No. She said they were no. traitors. I mean. And he said how they deal with traitors. On yeah. The wall. But All that's yeah. But, but that's, like, would any of us be in support of that? Kill like beheading these innocent kids well, who didn't do anything. I don't know. In Game of Thrones world, yeah, probably. What? Oh. Also, well, okay, uh, but okay. Arya makes Arya, Arya makes reference to 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 pulling out a, a rival house rudence down. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say that. Like, we're getting a good contrast there because look what happens when you don't. You, you all die right, from drinking but that's wine. What I'm saying is, so at first I was like, well, they can make them a ward of, of some other house because they're so young. But like, no, they just like grow up and they become like a Theon. Yeah. And yep. then they just go all rogue and fucking cre- Yeah, you just got to kill those kids. Don't I'm judge sorry. Alice by Theon. The Don't judge Alice by Theon. But none of the, but you can't risk none of the that. Starks would do it, though. Kill St- them. They're still yeah, too none good. None no. Sounds like Sansa would. might. But that's why. Sansa was Sansa saying might. in a later scene that she learned some things from Cersei and she yeah. just, because Cersei just murders everyone who gets in her way. Yeah. Yep. Cersei is. Hint, hint, little finger. Sansa's oh, going to okay. murder little finger. Okay. <laughs> murder little finger. Well, like, you have to know that Sansa he's going. She's going to murder him, but I'm hoping not this season. Definitely this season. We'll, we'll get to that. I think end. it'll yeah. be a finale. Though. I think it'll be a finale, yeah, we'll at the end, the end of the season. Yeah. Um, Anyway, Do yeah. Do we have any other uh, well, well, we got some pieces of information from that meeting that the Wildlings are going to go north. and to man, Watch. Yeah, man some castles. Looks like they're, they're the Night's Watch now. <laughs> man, poor Tormund. Why? The, you, you're not getting out of that. They're not going to, like, heroically repel the, the White Walkers. Like, oh, yeah, Tormund's gone. Tormund's a goner, and I love Tormund, even though he's watered down. But still. Har. Har. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so they're taking a few castles. They're taking a castle. I think they mentioned the other two as well, right? Um, no, they only they only explicitly mentioned Eastwatch. Eastwatch by the sea. Okay. I believe. Yeah, just Eastwatch. The two other they, they, were the Umbers and Karstarks. Yeah. Last Hearth and Right, Carl. right. Mm-hmm. My microphone is very precarious right now. I'm sorry. Wait, why do you mean precarious? Because it's, right now it it's in my face. Oh. It's because I have to keep. I'm like down here to talk oh, into I see, it. I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's like we can try and bring flip it up. Like, like uh. I can't. Here, just keep talking. We'll figure okay. it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it. Heavy, I got you, baby. Mics. I got you, baby. Uh, should we go to other people who were talking about the wall and things in the north? Sandor and the brothers. Oh yeah. Oh, I love Sandor. That Thank was a very interesting scene. Um, Thank I you really for enjoyed Sansa thoughts. Yeah, mm-hmm. thanks, Caitlin. Yay. Uh, I really enjoyed uh seeing. Reformed Sandor. I'm, I'm going to try, and I think we, we talked fine. about this okay. last season on um, What's on the Box when he returned, but uh, I'm going to try to refer to Sandor only as Sandor, not as the Hound. The Hound is dead. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, this episode solidified his redemption. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of really good stuff in that scene. I really loved... I, I, I really like just getting those three actors together to have good acting. Mm-hmm. You know, and and the scene in the in the home where they light the fire and uh, Thoros brings Sandor over to look into the flames was was very intense, and the conversation between um, Beric and Sandor was was very intense. Uh, a lot of really good stuff in there, and then the Gravedigger homage. How about that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> 
I lo- yeah, I loved it that he became the grave digger. And in that scene was when I was like, man, Sandor is, f- I think, fully redeemed mm. by burying those people who he, I mean, uh, granted, I'll, I'll be honest and say I wouldn't have remembered that had the preview not shown it to us, uh, that those people he had left to die, they died, and yeah. that he didn't care back then when he did that. But by, by feeling that regret and that sympathy uh, this time through and by burying their bodies and by saying, like, if there were justice that little girl would be alive and I would be dead. I feel like that's indicative of him being fully redeemed. I think oh. that he he may not think of that, though, because it, it reminds me of <laughs> the episode where he came back, The Broken Man, where he was asking for all the terrible things he's done and how can there be gods if he's if the, he hasn't been punished yet. And I think he still views it that way because the, the Septon's response was, well, you, you have been. But I, I don't know if Sandor will believe that he's done enough to atone ever. There's I, fan theories about him being a Zora High, right? There's gotta be. <laughs> there has For to everyone. be. Yeah. Yeah. There's. I feel like there's fan theories about everyone Hot being a Zora High. Zora High. Yeah. Hot Pie. Zora Pie. Yeah. yeah. Um, Zora Pie. But mm. I, I, I think the weight of the remorse and having to feel like, like I, again, as, as shitty as some of his past decisions on the show have been, um, the. The shot of Sandor lifting the body and 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 doing it so gently and making sure to like hold the head so that it didn't like fall off basically yeah. and lower it in th- into the grave. Yeah. Uh, very deft by Jeremy Podeswa, and I thought that uh, uh, feeling that weight, literally the weight of that body and and the remorse that he 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 feels, uh, that that's Sandor having to atone. I mean that's. The, the serendipity of going to this cottage where these people that he stole you know stole from and left for dead uh, was that's that's his journey and I think that that's what Beric is kind of getting at is like you have a, you have this journey to go on on still and and I'm curious to see what do you mean what am I saying I'm saying good things <laughs> um, they haven't heard you yet <laughs> uh, delay maybe yeah you're saying uh, great stuff I think uh, I think that that I, Sandor is a great character. I, I'm really excited to see more of his journey north. Yeah. I just don't know what the end game for Sandor is. Like, where is this leading? Yeah, yeah. What what is it? What's thematically important to him that's in the north? I, I think it's incredible. That, oh. Sansa's in the north oh, and it's thematically true. important to him. Yeah, Sansa. Sansa. Sansa, and we all cry forever. together. <laughs> yeah. That's Sansa that's where I forever. think that his story is leading. I think he's gonna reunite with Sansa. Do and you think he's gonna go? Go down swinging. What? They're going to East Watch. They're going to East Watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well. That's what he that's saw. In the oh, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Well, okay, fire, that's what he sure. saw. In the, okay, Eventually, he saw yeah. East Watch. Yeah, because in the fire. Because what end? I'm two. What end does he have at the wall? Because I don't think his story would end there. But it's cool, interesting that Good. there's so much focus on talk of the wall. The wall has stood, especially in the uh, old town scenes, uh, and we we talked about it during the episode like yeah wall's probably coming down this season wall yeah wall's coming down a hundred thousand percent i think finale i think finale finale we get wall coming down and little finger dying finale or six okay Mm. um interesting uh well do you want to swing to swing over to old town it's one of the last big things we got covered yeah is there just a couple more there's just a couple more. Let's wow. do it. Yeah. I would talk so much more if I wasn't sure. like. We also only watch so this episode once. In, in, normally we. Oh watch yeah, we normally we watch, watch it twice. Yeah, so we have better Oops. thoughts. Uh, I think going forward we'll probably be maybe uh, not, not not next, next week. weekend Comic Con, no. but after that uh, we'll probably be able to swing we'll watch it twice two, and be yeah. more in depth. Yeah, yeah. We'll try. after that. Uh, well, before we go to Old Town, there was one scene early on after the cold open and the title sequence oh, of I the Night's Watch, and. Uh, or I'm sorry, not the Night's Watch, the oh. Night's King, and but and and the Night's Watch because Bran yeah. shows up. Yeah, we, right. can, we can't forget well, those two. Well, well, first there's the the Night King and uh, his was, army of whites. That was a good image, which include again yeah, guys. Really good image, yeah. Chelsea had a good. I literally grabbed James's notepad to write this down. I don't care if it's a dumb trolley idea <laughs> or if it's a joke they that the show put in just to fuck with us. <laughs> in in the books, drink. <laughs> I think that's the first time we said that. In the books? Yeah. Tonight? Uh-huh. It might not so. be, but really? explicitly. Oh, Caitlin said it. Damn. Okay. Um, She's so not canon. Actually, I think in the show, too, <laughs> Old Man um, t- uh, tells Bran 
a story about how the world all exists in the in the blue eye of a giant <laughs> and what do we get but this like zoom into this blue eye of a oh. of a white walker a white giant a white giant giant white white giant giant white yeah giant it's not white, white walker it's a giant oh, white story anyway cool <laughs> yeah yeah I'm tired. <laughs> no, you're <laughs> that doing was great. That was good. That was good. <laughs> uh, I think that is a that was a really fun image. That was a really cool little scene. And then we get yeah, we get Bran and uh, well, and I just want to say like I I mean obviously that scene we cut away from it. We don't come back. Do you think we're gonna come back? Uh, probably not right away. Not in the next episode. That yeah, might just be a like hey this is coming and then like the penultimate episode maybe. Hey, you saw them coming in the premiere. They're here. I'm hoping sooner rather than later. Yeah. No. We'll see. I don't know. The show is pr- pretty good about uh, about giving you White Walkers. Yeah, I'm the I'm books are not. ready to be surprised by the pace based on some of the press that's come out ahead that's of time. That's true. Saying the pace will be crazy. So pace was pretty good in this episode. Yeah. Twas. Twas. It, like Brands <laughs> just through the wall now. Brands th- to the wall. Yeah. Ed. Ed's like, wait, what how 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 do we know? Who who are Champagne. you? He's like, I know Champagne. what's I know what's coming, man. Uh huh. So now, yeah, Bran south of the wall. But yeah. Does, does that mean that the white, uh, or does that mean that the magic of the wall doesn't yeah. hold back the? Yeah. I d- I don't know if it does mean that. <sighs> I hate I that hate they that. introduce <laughs> that shit. Yeah. Because it makes that's all everything we can think complicated. About. Yeah. Because okay, and it's all I can think about is like Bran. You can't. So what we're talking about is that in the crazy episode, hold the door, right? Hold the door. The door. Yeah, the door. Uh, yeah. When when Bran did his little uh, vision journey and h- hit up the Night King, and the Night King grabbed him. Yeah. Then uh, Three Eyed Raven was all like, "Yo, now that he marked you, the magic of this tree uh, doesn't work against them anymore." And so they came and they infiltrated, and that whole shit went down. So. Then we start surmising when Benjen was like, hey, go south of the wall. We were like, is Benjen a traitor? Yeah. Because if Bran goes south of the wall, does the same thing hold true? Does he still have that mark of the Night King? And does by going south of the wall, does that render the magic of the wall uh, useless against them? I feel like if they did that now, a lot of show watchers would be like, Wait, how'd that work? Um, yeah, and at the the time, Benjamin said like he can't cross the wall because he was like has some dragon glass in him, uh, like, reinforcing that. Naldog six two eight. Whites were never. It's it's the White Walkers. It's it's specific. To, whites are different. Like, yeah, it's, it's specific to the to the actual others and the Knights King. Season well, one, we, we call them others. That's not in the show. Oh, whatever. White Walkers. Or White Walkers. But yeah, White season Walkers. one, we saw whites on the other side. When. The ones in the in Castle Black that John burns up. Oh, okay, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, that it just like they're like the magic of White Walkers like wouldn't. They were dead when he brought them over. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's don't a know. whole. I don't know. It's a whole thing. I'd Maybe be, that magic yeah. was specific to the cave and it has I'd nothing be fine to do if that with convenient it, that they just chose. It to make I it thought that way. they were saying like. They, whites came south of the wall. Walls not a coming thing. down yeah. one way it's or another. It's coming down. It doesn't matter. Walls coming down. Oh. I want the world to know. I'm curious to see, though, now, is are we going to get, like, Benjen, or not Benjen, Bran Uncle in Benjen. Castle Black, or, are we, or is next the next time we see Bran, he's rolling up to Winterfell? Oh. That's my Which question. Which would be no fine Castle Black to talk to. Ed's yeah, the only like, named character Ed's there. the only yeah, yeah right so like he's so yeah, gonna he's roll up to Winterfell after. literally roll oh shit he can't walk well we'll get to that in a minute because I have thoughts you think he's gonna walk no I don't think he's gonna walk I but think he will fly <laughs> oh dear god I f- oh, my, my god. whole like thesis statement for this season is that we more so than any other season I think we know and this is not having read the books excluding that we know the things that are probably going to happen. It's just that the order is not what we know, and the order is what's important. Like, when Bran gets to Winterfell, and when does he tell what he knows about Jon as a Targaryen? Is Jon going to be there? Who does he tell? Like, when does Littlefinger make his move against Jon? When does Jon meet with Danny? All these things could have different permutations. Like, they're all things that I think we're gonna, are going to happen. 
but well, it can result is, very differently. How is on when. Sansa going to react to Bran? Because Bran's heir to Winterfell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. You know. Yeah. How is how is that going to ha- play in a Littlefinger's plans for Sansa if suddenly you have a older male heir? Might be a might be a pillow over Bran's face one night as he sleeps. I don't know. I bet she. She's gonna support it. Yeah, yeah, I was just oh, gonna yeah, say she'll that. Oh yeah, definitely. But Littlefinger won't. Littlefinger won't. Will the other, will the shitty men of the North support it? Like, oh, he's a cripple. Can't, can't be. Uh, a Lord. John just changed their opinions about, about women, women in combat and children, in a single yeah, conversation. So, so yeah, I think with the yeah. help right. of Lady Mormont. Well, true, true. He'll probably name Bran his heir. Yeah, I would imagine he would name Bran his heir. <laughs> but whatever. So We're shitty to Sansa. Mm, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I I have other. Th- I think something else is going to come to light, and then everybody's going to turn on John. But what? what? Yeah, yeah. Brand's going to co- roll in and be like, "Listen, John, you're a Targaryen." Yeah, but then, like, and then they're going to they're going to kick John out and be like, "No Targaryen should rule the North." Then John's going to go south to Danny, be like, "You're my only, the only family I have left." But listen, you need to go north because that's the bigger deal. Yeah. And then Danny's going to be like, "No, bad idea. I want Westeros." And then that's going to be the rest of the season. Is that? Stuff you heard it stuff. here first. That prob- yeah. No, like that literally. That, that sounds very like it could well be. It sounds it. pretty likely. Also, she may not even believe him. Wow, man! Because he would be the proper heir, and she would not. Way deflate right? the whole season for us, right there. I mean, there's <laughs> a lot more. There's a, the, yeah, there's a lot more, and that's just one. Theory, um, but. I they would be able to prove John is a Tark. I believe we. It's been foreshadowed this entire series that something in the crypts. Yeah, uh, will be able to offer proof that John's a Targaryen yeah. because yeah. Lyanna's crypt is done and et, et cetera. I don't yes, know. Yes. Fuck. Good call. Yeah, and we've seen, Reed. We, we've seen lots of shots in the crypts in the previews. Yes. And Littlefinger yeah. down there, too. Littlefinger, yeah. Littlefinger getting choked in, up in against like the previews. wall by John. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's also Howlin' Reed. Yeah, there's Howlin'. Yeah. I don't know if we'll and see Howlin'. We, uh, I, in a, a rewatch, uh, I s- had forgotten that when... Uh, Littlefinger and Sansa went to Winterfell and they were visiting the crypts and they were visiting Lyanna's. Mm-hmm. He was talking about how he was at the famous tourney at Harrenhal, the one mm-hmm. with the Night of the Laughing Tree, so maybe he knows something. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. I don't want him to know. Oh, yeah, someone literally just put that in the chat. Like, like as you were saying it, it was oh, weird, the tourney maybe. of Harrenhal. Um, Is the last thing we have to talk about Dirty Jobs with Sam Tarwell? Well, yeah. and then, and then uh, like, Danny comes Dragonstone, whatever. Oh, sure, I guess. What uh, what is there to say? The about like that? montage. The dragons are huge. Dragons They're are fucking huge. huge. Uh, Dragonstone looked pretty fucking cool. Dragonstone's yeah. very cool. Yeah. Yeah, like they open the gates and then there's like a, this cool little bridge. That Which, that was, that's the most we've seen of Dragonstone in it. Yeah. Looked, oh, we, yeah, we always saw it awesome night It's always at shot night. Of Winterfell, which was pretty badass. That was oh, yeah, that overhead shot. shot. Yeah. That was Where the, you see the forest. Yeah, that was like yeah. the first time we've seen Winter's Town and and the mm-hmm. the, 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 lay, the full layout of the castle that's as insane. a castle, not just in the credits. It almost looked like in the credits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I always pictured. Um, probably I was wrong to picture, but I kept picturing maybe because of the books, like the gods would in the middle of Winterfell or like still within the walls, but it's like it's, it's not in the middle. It's not, not in the middle off. of the books. Right, I thought it w- would be contained within the walls of like the whole thing, not like, no. off to the side. Mm-mm. No. That could be my own image. No. Nope. Uh, um, anything else about Dragonstone? It's cool. uh, everyone knows that it has dragon glass. Oh yeah, well that that came about mm-hmm. in Old Town. So I nice like, segue, Joel. Mm-hmm. I like this. Um, Erica Danella says um, Sam putting the heart on the scale is a reference to Egyptian uh, question mark. So they're not entirely sure, but that sounds it sounds right. right. Uh, Egyptian mythology about death and having your heart weighed to see if you're a true and good person. Oh wow. That was like big ass liver though. That dude was a drunk. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Does it get bigger? Um, I don't know. I, isn't that a thing? I don't know. Cirrhosis. I don't know. That's your liver. It gets like. Rock. Oh, you were talking about livers. Yep. <sighs> they also Chelsea's took out fun. a heart. And we're just talking about hearts. <laughs> Fuck, man. I'm like not alive right now. <laughs> it's okay. Adele All we gotta talk about is All we gotta talk about is Sam. We get to poop Mont- people don't like. Oh, the shit. It sounded like the beginning of Money by Pink Floyd. Do, like, do, it, do, do, do. Do. like it was like, ching, ching. it was just do, like, do, do. yeah, that's yeah. what I was expecting. That I was a really good yeah. montage. I would love uh-huh. to have Sam just like break out in songs, like sure. carrying like a mop around and be like, I just want to read. <laughs> Someone should believe me. Also, oh my God, the fucking forbidden section of the library. We all How were Harry like, oh, it's like Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He's yeah, gonna like open up yeah. a book and that fate, that like CGI <laughs> face pops out. 
<laughs> so they did not name the Arch Maester. No, they did they last did season not. though. No, they, uh, no, they didn't. didn't. Oh, they just said the Arch yeah. Maester. Yeah. They didn't say Marwan because it no. was hinted at, and we all like freaked out. We, we just like, we were all big out. nerds about it because they didn't mm-hmm. even say his name. We were like, oh, it's probably Marwan. I don't think they're gonna name him. I think he's just gonna be the Arch Maester, Arch Maester. We'll see. We'll Either see. way, we'll cool. cool. Jim cool Broadbent. Jim Broadbent. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, slightly more open to the idea of strange things and believing Sam about White Walkers than the others. Uh, apparently, according to IMDb, uh, <laughs> he was Marwin. Thank Great. you, Phoebe. Cool. Fuck yeah. I, I really liked that scene where Is he, it Merwin? He, it's Marwin. Marwin. Okay. He really... I like how he kind of explains the philosophy of the Maesters where it's like it's their job to question things and believe things to be wrong. Like, you, like you, it's... It's almost guilty until proven innocent. Like, you have to prove that something is correct with science. No, it's just uh, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Sure. And I liked that. I like that a Why lot. Why would they keep that stuff restricted? Well, that's a ma- that's the maester theory. That's the maester way. What? Restrict knowledge? Yeah, that they're... they're yeah, and they're and they're also they're trying to secretly control everything and kill magic from the world. Well, that's true. Yeah, maesters are shady. Yeah. Maesters are shady. We've Allegedly. talked about we've talked about this before. It's not on the show though. In book club, yeah. that maesters are shady. It could also be. I'm interested to see whether that would be the case. It also could be as we got here, just sort of them being this benign force, but one that's so rigid that they when the hour of need actually arrives, they've been saying, you know, people were losing their minds when Robert's Rebellion happened. Like, how could we go on without Targaryen rule? And the world did. Whatever this is now, the world will surely survive it. Yeah, and just yeah. Have, being so rigid in that that they ignore the fact that, like, oh, the wall is actually coming down. I did, I'd really like the world's memories speech that and the comparison really to nice. the dogs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. that's great. I love that. Marwin's cool. I like Marwin. Yeah. And Jim Broadbent is such a fan. I mean, it's just the latest in a series of casting great actors to do great acting on this Great show. actors like Ed Sheeran. Are you great. Sheeran? Great job. Good job. Sheeran. Sheeran. I Sheeran. said Sheeran. I said it. I know. Why yeah, did you say are you eight, serious? Eight, no, eight just days that you to don't say it. know <laughs> that. Gosh, okay. Sorry. It just is like. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know Ed Sheeran's oh my pronunciation. Oh, does he ever sing his own name in his songs? No. Yeah, that's all his songs actually are, though. He's actually a Pokemon. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Guys, Who's he's it? so famous. Like you should no, just no, he's know. Like, he's like Rick Ed Ross. Sheeran. Yeah, just at the beginning Sheeran. of every song. Ed Sheeran. <laughs> goes into uh, what? What's one of his songs? Uh, I have no idea. Oh See, my Russell God. can't answer. Yeah, I know uh, that I'm Taylor. Not a good. Taylor, Taylor Swift with did some stuff with them. Oh, that's him. Yeah. His voice is pretty. Beautiful though. Yeah, know. he's he a, good a good singer. Job. He, he just looks like a leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like the craziest thing that he's this fan. Like it, he is like very mystifying to me. Also, he has shitty tattoos. He didn't look. Oh. He got of- a shitty, shitty tattoo like last year. Cause it or no, cause it was right around when I wanted to get a tattoo. So I was like looking up. Like tips for getting a tattoo, and it was right around like, this time. Don't get he got Ed a Sheeran's giant tattoo. No, it's a piece of garbage. Ta- <laughs> it's like a giant lion. Uh, I forget if it's oh on his chest God. or his and back. He played but a holy shit, it looks like garbage. And I'm like, man, you're so rich, you can afford like the nicest tattoo in the world, and it looks like shit. It looks like trash. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Jorah shows up. Yeah. Oh, Jorah! Jorah. Okay, uh, alarm. We last left him, I think, in. Uh, maybe three or four of season six. So he's had plenty of time to figure out where a cure what might be and just get to Westeros. Head straight to I think he just fucking I think he went straight to Old Town. Because he, he probably was like, was like cure my best for Grayscale is- yeah. Giant Library. And then he... <laughs> I like to think that he's not imprisoned because he has grayscale. It's because he was in the forbidden section <laughs> trying to find the cure for grayscale. Yeah. And they're like, you can't be in here. And they put him in jail. That, uh, he was in exile. Yeah, that's true. He's also a fugitive. Of he just kept There's asking, a lot of reasons for him queen to come be yet? in jail. Yeah. Is the dragon he queen here? He aided and abetted uh, <laughs> a Targaryen trying to take over yeah. Westeros. 
Yeah. That arm is not looking great. No. 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 I mean, it looks great, but it doesn't. Oh, it looks it looks real tasty. Looks That's been baked in that good. oven for a while. I did think like that. I was like, it looks so crispy. You, like, crack the... oh, oh yeah. And his voice is still great. So that's. Fun. Oh well, Ian Glenn's always gonna be Ian yeah, Glenn. Yeah. 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 yeah that's pretty nice. That's good. Oh yeah, is his face gonna be disfigured by grayscale? So. Not. <laughs> I know he's so beautiful. No, I want to see. I want to see that man. <laughs> I want to see him like, be like Phantom. I want to see them like oh the, uh, the Stretch Armstrong villain, the red guy who could get like super hard. But also oh yeah, yeah, I know who you oh, mean. What? You know what Stretch Armstrong had what villains. Yeah, he had, yeah. The, he had this red guy. I'm sorry. He had like a, a like, like a fire like a vacuum like a pack. Guy? It was like a vacuum pack, and you would like yeah. suck out all the uh-huh. the moisture okay. from it, and he gets super hard. The villain. You'd get he super gets super super hard when you <laughs> suck. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. cool. He'd get real hard. We're talking a lot about Stretch Armstrong characters kids swollen in our lives. Hey, you just got two dollars for not knowing <laughs> oh! who it is. <laughs> Someone don't do this. Ignorance. Cat zero zero eight one zero one just super chatted us two dollars to and says, "Please learn who Ed Sheeran is, please." <laughs> yeah, you gotta go look that up now. <laughs> yeah. All right, I got you, Cat. Uh, you're making yourself seem even older and out of touch, James. I am the most older and out of touch one here, and I will not relinquish that crown. <laughs> don't. She, I think me. she was talking to you. <laughs> yeah, we can go yeah. on believing that. Um, I don't know really who he is either, but I'm I'm not making a big deal oh, out of it. See, Joel's in there too. But I, I'm not going on about it. Oh, Chelsea's the only one who really knows Ed Sheeran. Guys, this is like I I'm just trying to think of an equivalent, this but it's great you sound so right out of touch. It's crazy. No, I I know she did him. stuff with T Swift. I know him because he That's was he I performed know. on SNL one time. Okay. And I watched that episode and I was like, this guy looks weird. But he I'm sings aware really of well. Who he is? I yeah, just you have said never you recognized heard. him. I would not have I if did. I hadn't but have like heard that so there was like stunt casting and he was going to be in an episode. Like, distinct looking. Yeah, he's the he like ginger the pop star, but like I don't know guy. any of his and music. He's so <laughs> recognizable. I got okay. it. People I'm have there. different tastes. I just don't necessarily <laughs> listen to his music. Okay, that's my deal. I don't you know what can't these avoid two guys. it though. It's everywhere. You can just don't turn on the radio. Yeah, I don't. But listen it's to the radio. everywhere. No, I'm we don't have to TV. Podcasts. Do you guys know who Zendaya is? I don't. Own I bet a these TV. two don't. I don't know who. Well, you're just yeah, making you know up Zendaya? names. <laughs> Zendaya is from uh uh from uh, Zoe Zeldana. No, 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 oh, no, 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 Zendaya. No, Zendaya. Was oh, in, like, you're all gonna sound direction. racist on accident. No. Oh. Zendaya is a Disney Channel star. Oh, what? No, in- She's in Spider Man. She's oh, married yeah. to she, yeah, that was Oh, a I, I, no, I was with you, James. I thought it was a One Direction guy. Right? <laughs> Who Who's might that be guy? Z, Z, no, Z guy. and she also has like a clothing line. No, there's I a think. Z guy in One Direction. Z right? something? Zane. 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 I thought it was Zane. We're I thought we were talking about Zane. Anyway. Jesus anyway. Christ. So. Old Town. So, t- Sam, Sam, it, I found it interesting that he wouldn't be fast tracked in some way, being from the Night's Watch as the designated maester and from House Tarly to like get to the studying. He's just clean shit all day. I yeah. don't why I don't that makes sense to me. I don't really? I think they would treat him worse because he came from the Night's Watch. Don't lump me in with the rest of these fools being out of touch. I know everything that we're talking about. I stay in touch with the world around me. Hey, uh, excuse me. Who brought the hot dog meme to this group? That was me. So <laughs> I'm plenty in touch That's with the youth. True, the Snapchat Thank you very hot much. Dog. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. I had the hot dog. DJ hot dog. Oh, gosh. Anyway. Yeah. So I, I don't think that I think that they would probably treat him worse because he came from the Night's Watch. That's when he when he first arrived at Old Town. They did not. That dude, the, the nerdy looking dude with the ledger was like, well, I don't care where you're from. Like. So I think uh, I think that yeah it makes sense that he's going through this montage training. I thought it was weird that he uh, came from that he has like an apartment in the city with his with his uh, with his woman and yeah how's he paying for that? Follow the money is what I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. Do you think we're gonna see? Do you think we're gonna see uh, uh, Mark Gatiss in the Iron Bank no. ever again? No. Oh, may no. Well. No. It was, he was dealing with Stannis. Stannis. Thing. Yeah, yeah, it was a Stannis. Thing. Things are too volatile. I don't think they would want to come now. Um, I got nothing else, guys. Um, 
Uh, I, I, uh, what do you, what do you think about this, this episode? First impressions, you want to give it a rating? Liked it. It's good. I don't like giving ra- ratings. It's like hard. Numbers. Sure. Good episode. Enjoyed good. watching it. I Happy Game it. of Thrones is back. It was, uh, less bloody. Sure, we killed all the phrase. Yep. But no big characters but with poison. died. poison. Yeah, no blood. I'm annoyed well, that. No blood. I'm annoyed that the partial nudity was the dead guy dick. Well, I miss that they, dick. I think that's why they, I, I missed miss that dick. There wasn't was much to miss. Dick. Uh, but but I missed it though. Yeah, I missed it. But that's why I think that's why they specified. Oh, nothing movie. about Danny. Yeah, Danny showed up. Oh, Danny we talked about up. dragons. We talked about we talked about it. Dragonstone's cool. Danny's ready to begin. Outfits her amazing. outfit is on point. on point. Yeah, those scales. Guys, scale. Michelle Carragher's the coolest. It's pronounced Carragher, right, Caitlin? Carragher. I've never like heard it out loud. That's why I thought it might be Carol Her. Anyway, she's the bestest person. She told me happy birthday too. Okay, yeah. the embroider from Game of Thrones is really cool. At, like friending cosplayers on Facebook and giving like sewing advice and like supplies advice. And yeah, she like messaged me happy birthday, my birthday with a little card that said my name on it mm-hmm. on like a picture. Anyway, that's I think awesome. Mine was on a picture of Sansa's direwolf embroidery. Wow, that's wow. very cool. Yeah, she's good people. That's, anyway, yeah. her embroidery is fucking amazing. Beautiful costume, like yeah. best Danny costume. To date. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I um, want to make it so bad. Very, very powerful. Uh it was it was cool. I liked I liked the end, how we went out on the episode, shall we begin or whatever she said. Yeah, that's fun. It was neat. That's um, good cut, good cut. P what? What? Oh no. Um yeah. Peony <laughs> so says Oh, no, I should missed it. Oh, but Peony said um, it was cool to see her in targ colors. We've never seen her in targ colors until this point. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which wow. is cool. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, very, very cool. Um, oh, I had one thought. Yeah. yeah. Did you have? No, go okay. ahead. Uh, um, just one. I realized that we've never seen Cersei having to play such a big game. Mm. She's always yeah, been she playing it. around True. in King's Landing, so she's got to think, like, not, not locally, she's but never globally. In her life, been taught to think big. She's, she's been taught board, to think though. small, always, because that's just the way she's been raised. Because when you think about it, her like main objective as like a noble woman is like marriage, and like relatively, it's small stuff compared to like being the ruler of an entire realm, which she's, I don't think she's ever been taught to be concerned with. Well, I think that that's very, you see that a lot in the conversation she has with Jamie, where Jamie's like, we have no legacy. Our children are dead. And she's like, well, then it's a, it's a dynasty for us. That's meaningless. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's an oxymoron. And, uh, I think that, uh, you know, yeah, she's very short sighted. That's a very good point. Joel, very good point. Chels. Um, I want to talk a little bit, um, as we wrap up, I want to give you guys a couple over unders. Uh, mm. Episode counts, uh, and you guys take the over, take the under. Uh, yeah, six and a half. All right, so I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you an episode. This is a sports. Yeah. Thing? It's not a sports thing. It's, it's kind, kind of a sports, sports thing. thing. I'm going to give you an episode count. Okay. And I'm going to say, and then I'm going to say a thing that I think is going to happen. Okay. And then you're going to sure, Caitlin, hop in here. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to say over under, and you guys are going to take the over or take the under if what you think is going to happen. So for instance. The wall comes down six and a half episodes over or under. Well, that's what. Uh, what does that mean? Or, or, or five and a half episodes, like halfway right? through episode six. Oh, okay. Because it's a seven episode season, right? Is over yeah. or under? Well, like I say, more? Why so, can't I say, no, that's right? You can say that's right. That's right. Yeah. Over. Over for Joel. Over. How many episodes Even are in this James? season? Seven. seven. Yeah, over. That's going to be finale. So you think it's going to be finale. Mm-hmm. Okay, Littlefinger. Oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Over then. Over. Yeah. Okay, Littlefinger, uh, six episodes. Over. I also think that's going to be in the over. Little finger, finale. Littlefinger what? Dying? Dying. Or you know what? End of episode six. Okay. Not finale. Over. I'm okay. saying over. I'm, Did I'm you just over. say confidently? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Dark Horse. You could live to the next uh, one, maybe. Cersei, seven. Under. Under. Does, Cer- Under. does Cersei Under. make it? No. Oh. I'm thinking like four. You think that fast? No, it can't. No, she's gonna last. A There's season. no way. Okay, I did. Okay, I will say I was thinking that until we started getting this whole Euron side mm-hmm. plot, mm-hmm. and now I'm like, she kind of has to stick around for this to resolve itself. I guess that's true. Um. Uh. I guess. 
Oh yeah, Still Banana Boat Eight Hundred Five. Yeah. The Cat's Paw Dagger was in that book Sam and Gilly right. were reading. I think that was a book of like famous Valyrian. Yeah, it was like Targaryen things. related yeah. stuff with uh, Dragonstone and everything. It was I think. the exact dagger. Yes. Uh, so that's that was gonna be my next one. When do we see the Cat's Paw Dagger? Five episodes. Who has it? I think Arya has it. Who the fuck has Does it? Arya what? Has it. How? She what? well, yeah, she had it in the promo the images. Inter- Entertainment Weekly images. It was on. Oh. Her well, that oh. sucks. I well, wanted to like I, figure that out. Yeah, I wouldn't have known that. That's fine. We'll okay. figure it out. Uh, anyway, oh, uh, under mm. under five. Under five. I what? Don't, uh, the cat's paw dagger. Under under. Uh, did I do the wall? I did the wall. Um, the Stark None. reunion. Uh, four. What what, Wait, qual- what qualifies by the Stark specify. reunion? Okay, well, obviously, Bran comes in. It comes back next episode. But okay. who cares about Bran? I'm talking Arya, Sansa, <gasps> and shit's gonna go down when he comes. Yeah, sure. But okay, like, hold on. But like real Starks, like that we care about. Bran hey. is way more of a real hey. Stark than John. Hey. Well, here's the I thing. Love all my siblings. What, sure. What will? What could possibly like? Does I don't think Arya knows that John and Sansa are at Winterfell right now, or else she'd be headed north. I would hope. So my question is, will she decide vengeance is more important and go south, or, or will she go north to be with her family? Hmm. You know, pack okay, and lone so, wolf and all that. So, uh, all right, Arya with any other Stark, then. I'll, I'll get more specific okay. than just Stark reunion. Arya, any other Stark, four episodes. Over. Four? four. Um, with any other Stark, that over. That sounds right. I'm going to say even. I think I think about four too, James. I, yeah. I well, yeah. No shit. You're the one saying the numbers, and you keep <laughs> taking like the best ones. You take the good well, ones. Yeah. I say over though. I say even. Okay. Uh, Nymeria. Mm. Under. I guess. Under well, yeah. we also well, like saw next time we saw, we saw a wolf. Next we saw time. a wolf. Yeah. And her and cut to her like a gas. Yeah. That well, cool shot effect. Maybe it's a big wolf. We don't know. Um. That's kind of all I got. Okay. Uh, horn, John. horn that controls dragons. No, oh, right. never, John never. Danny. Oh, John and Danny, sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm, On, four. Oh. Um, that sounds right, though. Okay, here's I'll a, say over. Here's a question: When oh. they I'll, meet, say I'll say under. Okay. When they we'll meet, fight. is is he going to know that he's a targ? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. That's the reason. Okay. For That's that the meeting. reason for that meeting. It's the reason for the season. Yeah. It is the reason I for the season. No. You, Caitlin right. thinks no. I John no. will not know that he's a Targaryen I say when he no meets. Because I think it will be more meaningful, more powerful if he goes as a Stark. I agree with you. I agree with you, so but I don't, I don't think, think that's going to happen. I don't think he's going to say, "Oh, Danny, I'm a Targ." Sure. Well, well I, th- also, I I think he's going to always identify himself as Jon Snow. Yeah, he's going to have a b- real big uh, identity crisis when that happens. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. What, what am I? <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, all right, I know cool. nothing, John. What's what's my last name? <laughs> just John. Just just I'm G- just John. Just, John. <laughs> just he just changes his name to a symbol. <laughs> uh, that's a prince joke. It's everybody. a three-headed yeah. wolf. Uh, all right, so anything else before we wrap up? Really excited to be back. Game of Thrones. We'll be back next week for another uh, another. Recap. And we'll be exhausted as fuck again. Yeah. Because yeah, it's going to be right after Comic Con. I'm going to be even more tired. Yeah, next we're going to be even more tired because we have to drive like three hours home. An, yeah. yeah. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a couple weeks before we get like a like a full speed. Whatever. Um, if analysis. you're going to be at Comic Con yeah, on Friday us. night, I think you can still register. There is a charity bar crawl, uh, happening like around uh. San Diego, like the area by the convention center, um, and you can raise money. You pick a charity, but I think Planned Parenthood is in there. There's a few other really good ones, um, and all the noble houses as teams are taken, but you can still register as a wildling. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna be Cersei at the. I believe I'll be at Casterly Rock, which is uh, one of the bars. They have like all these different locations, so you have to come find me to get points. Anyway, if you want to come see me uh, and raise money for charity. I'll be there. That's the cool thing. James will be there. He's going to be one of like my guards, I guess. <laughs> in like a black t-shirt. I don't know. We got to well, figure something I'll out. Figure it out. Uh, yep. Someone's saying you were right about the gods wouldn't win or fell Joel, but I'm not sure if that's correct. Yeah, anyway. We have different images in our head. Um, so, yeah. No, it's, it's within the... I thought you meant like the town. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Just, yeah. I, the, I, I pictured it as like sort of like this being the structure. Like in the middle. Like so, somehow contained within the structure. I didn't realize oh, it sort I of see. was like over here and then like here's okay, the main area. Yeah. 
if you like what you see on our channel or a fan of our channel and want to support us so more than just watching, uh, you can find a link in the description below to our Patreon page, where for as little as $1 a month, $12 a year, you can make a big difference in how we make content of all kinds. Uh, there are some fun rewards down there. Uh, the the video is a little bit out of, out of date, but the $3 reward is the big one. Uh, that's, that's the one that one. we're really excited about. Um, that's where you get access to our Practical Flicks uh, Netflix movie commentaries, uh, full-length movie commentaries, audio commentaries featuring the four of us uh, watching a movie that you have access to uh, via Netflix or YouTube. Um, and we watch it and we, we riff on it and we joke around. We have a really good time. And you guys get to kind of do that along with us, too. Uh, the next flicks will probably Hopefully be out soon. We've yeah. soon. It's, it's been, been a really busy. bad with, time with because it's cons. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, um, but next one, I get what it to is? pick the movie. Do you know yet? I I think so. I think we're going to watch Trolls. <laughs> I haven't seen it. And that shit sounds crazy. Yeah, I've not seen it either. So... Uh, and it is on Netflix. Um, yeah, the Sleepaway Camp episode is I love fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that That's was that stuff, was guys. James's pick, yeah. and it was one of the you best movie Netflix watching experiences yeah, of YouTube. my life. You can watch. <laughs> yes, it's on YouTube. <laughs> yes, quote from James. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you want to like listen to us watch trolls. Donate three dollars to our Patreon. Yeah, donate three dollars to Jesus. Patreon. Thanks for our, our patrons. Like, if you would have watched last year's What's on the Box or live after shows, we had these uh, little lav mics, which are fine. But these bad boys are these so are good. Pa- yeah, these were these we'll were patron something funded. Out for these boys um, yeah, next week. Yeah, we're we're not in front of James's face and Joel's face. Me and Chelsea are fine. Yeah, I think this setup is okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have no problems with it. You give me a little booster chair, I can like be up here. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, we'll get risers. Yeah. Um, Jackson. I- <laughs> thanks, thanks to Caitlin for being our like accidental guest. Yeah. Um and anything else? I'm guys? glad Jackson enjoyed Sleepaway Camp. I met him. Uh, oh yeah. Was that today, Jesus? I met him today <laughs> oh, earlier. Cool. Yeah. Uh, at, at D23, cool I was dressed like one of the ugly stepsisters from Cinderella. I still have on like blue eyeshadow, <laughs> although I basically rubbed it all off at this point. Check out uh, check out Power Hour if you haven't yeah. yet, or watch it again. I for wish for your Game of Thrones fix. Check out last season. What's on the box to get refreshed. I wish we could do What's on the Box. But don't have time. We Guys, can't we do it. it. It's so is, it's so time consuming. It. Guys, for for this season, we just can't do What's in the Box this year it's too much work. that was too much when i didn't have a job i know yeah. and now i have and i worked on it at work channel. yeah that and was a mess yeah, well, don't have that luxury sorry guys so but yeah season six what's in the box is a beautiful thing so if it's you want to catch beautiful. up go watch that it is it's a wonderful one wonderful we've show. ever done so check out our stuff like and subscribe be sure to like this video be sure to subscribe to the channel uh check out dead meat over uh james's channel do it up hit me up uh Will, we, will these streams be plugs? left up on the channel? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. These, streams these streams will be left up on the channel. Um, plugs? I don't know. I have a cosplay page. Go do like it. it. Chelsea Rekka Cosplay on Facebook. She makes great stuff. I do. I make stuff. <laughs> do you want to say anything about Book Club, Joe? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, some bad news about oh. those. <laughs> oh, this is how <laughs> we're going to end on it? a bad oh, note. No. Whoa. You're leaving also a bad note. I, I know. Lots of bad notes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so we talked before about. So you're going to drop this bomb. I'll drop it, yeah. Cool. So for a long time, oh I was working no, on Joel. the podcast <laughs> version of... We're about to oh see this God. number just plummet. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's already the, gone. The podcast oh version no. of Book Club being released they as like a episode know. by episode. Wow, this is like the by chapter Game of Thrones of, of live streams. <laughs> I was, <laughs> just like, I was really invested in it I loved doing Book Club with you guys. But uh, when I, th- I... I think just seeing friends wrestle with a project he's working on, James with Dead Meat. Secret fr- project still. Yeah, secret project. Um, secret project do, is doing awesome. Doing something that they're really, really passionate it's and excited good. about. I realized as we were, you know, getting ready oh to launch God, it that even though I put so in bad. all this time, I was like, you know what? Oh, no. I'm just not as I'm just not as invested in doing it. I'm not as excited, and I want to spend my time doing something I'm really excited about. God so hey, let's be damn. fair and uh, take some of the pressure off Joel. It wasn't That's just true. Him. It wasn't yeah. only. It was definitely a, a group. Dis- we all lost steam. Joel was keeping it going. Joel so was keeping. Joel, it going. Joel is the biggest champion for book club. Book club. Wait, hey, and Caitlin and also Caitlin. Book club. And Caitlin. Uh, we're definitely champions of book club. The, yeah. the book clubs that we had and we did are great. They live on the channel. 
Uh, so if you want to read the books now or after the season is done and pick up with Game of Thrones, you have a great you way to do it. You can get halfway through Sword. It's just get halfway through Storm. A lot. And then, and then you yeah. can keep reading and tweet me and I will talk to you about That's the true. books. That's true. Because I Yeah, we'll still, like, if it. you tweet, like, I'll always yeah. want to talk if about that. If you them. tweet it, if yeah. you add us about that. Um, <laughs> it's just, like, so much. Yeah, sorry, Like, guys. I'm, yeah, there's like. So much. There's just, there's oh, not gosh. time. There's not time. It's so much much time and uh yeah i think we're it's it's good if it, I, yeah i feel better i'm like focusing on things i'm super excited about and you know those will be creative projects and pursue the things you're yeah. passionate about gang it's but a yeah good, it's a good feeling because then when it people enjoy it then you feel good too yeah i'm sorry like well, it we, sucks we've, all, it's a we've, we've i mean we've, we've read, read the, books. the books already we we're didn't not just, just like, like we're done stopping <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm i'm still going we've, i'm in fierce um, right now but yeah. You can always like always tweet at us with yeah. book shit. We have a like, subreddit I'll too. Talk about books always. Practical folks, uh, our practical folks on the subreddit. Um, yeah. Yeah. Some but of us are active on that. Some it's of us just because we want to make other like other stuff. Yeah. We'll always yeah. be doing stuff. You know, like. Yeah. Stuff we'll always around. Be making. Yeah. yeah. It's probably better so as long as you like us stuff for us. us. Yeah. You're you're in good shape. Yeah. yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Can I plug that book? Yeah. Oh yeah. Plug please. that book. Okay, that we yeah. Set out. Get on. Get on mic. I want to be in Chelsea's ear. Well, here. Use mine. So this cool book right here is called Fan Phenomena: Game of Thrones, and it was put out by Intellect Press about a month ago. Um, it is a an academic collection of essays about the Game of Thrones fan community, and I actually have a chapter in it about Game of Thrones costuming that I wrote. And it is right here, and it's awesome. So if you're interested, this is a cool book. It's got a lot of cool stuff about the fan community. Where can they get the book, Caitlin? You can get the book online if you search Fan Phenomena Game of Thrones. I believe it is on Amazon. Very cool. We're all very proud of Caitlin for her amazing academic work on cool academic stuff. Yeah. Speaking of academic things. Also. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh unfortunately this will be the l- the last uh <laughs> appearance of Caitlin. Caitlin. Uh, hey, I'm coming to visit. Well, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh well, at least this this season. Uh because uh Caitlin will be going to pursue a PhD uh up up north of us. In yeah, in Winterfell. Going home. Uh so uh congratulations Caitlin. We're we're sad to see you go but but very excited for the things that you'll be doing in in the future so yay Mm -hmm. Yay. thank you for all your help uh on all of our game of thrones stuff all your contributions no 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 way you can't just like uh, we can't just do that no (laughs) what's you can't becky what's roseanne's last name in the show oh shit you can't Becky her. Yeah. We're yeah. so or, old. Or, 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 or was so it Family ma- it was Family Matters? Wasn't there like the daughter? That or Bewitched. No, Bewitched. Darren. Bewitched, yeah. Yeah, Darren. Yeah. Anyway. Just Darren her. Yeah. Cool. But you so can no always, book club, no more Caitlin. You can always uh, tweet me. Your lie. <laughs> you can uh, always tweet me at Going Postal, and I will happily talk to you about books and manuscripts and cosplay and these folks. Yeah. James, yeah. take us home. Yeah. I'm... Right, you go to bed. Uh, and I'm James. I'm James. And I, yeah, I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Joel. Uh, and this has been a Game of Thrones. Oh, I'm Caitlin. That's her. Yeah. <laughs> and this has been a Game of Thrones after show. We'll be here again next week. And Chelsea and I will be even more tired. We should be in, just in our costumes. Uh, yeah. But like, might be. But whatever, like hungover from con. Whatever but those we are. Oh, beating and, the beast. Yeah, those yeah, will be Whatever. Not. Whatever. Who gives a fuck? We North love you guys. Rivers. Sorry North for uh, killing book club. Yeah. And Caitlin. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye.